doing the supply to the coil of relay and on the basis of this control the on the basis of the power being supplied to the coil of relay the actual valve is being controlled so let me show you here i have switched on the power to coil relay coil hence the valve has been glow up going to learn how to use a relay in your circuit whenever you are going to complete any project especially the project which is involving some electronic circuit then this video may help you to how you can use relay in your circuit so here i am using tinkercad to simulate the circuit of a relay but same circuit you can follow while you are using the actual relay in your project so let's see on the screen that you can see here a battery a relay a uh, valve and a power supply has been used so this is showing the complete circuit of relay which is controlling a uh, valve so here valve is being controlled by this relay and we have to supply the power to relay as well as to uh, this particular uh, valve so first let me show you how the simulation is looking like so let's see here you can see that uh, i have provided 6 point uh, sorry around 12 volt uh, to this bulb actually this bulb is connected to this power supply through this relay and this particular battery 9 volt battery is being used to uh, to operate the coil of relay so let's see how it will work here i am controlling the supply to the coil of relay and on the basis of this control the on the basis of the power being supplied to the coil of relay the actual valve is being controlled so let me show you here i have switched on the power to coil relay coil hence the valve has been glow up if i switch this off bulb is also being switched off switched off i must say that in place of this switch you can use any microcontroller to provide the signal to relay to power up the coil so that coil will again control the on and off condition of the relay so this is how the valve uh, relay circuit is working now let me show you the actual circuit which is which you can see here here you can see that a relay has actually this particular relay has six terminals first is com1 com2 both are sorted both are connected to each other hence either you connected to com1 or com2 that is same thing and there is two terminals coil 1 coil 2 so here we will provide the power to this coil and there other two pins are there the, that are uh, nc and no so nc means normally closed and uh, normally open so if you are using nc option then then the circuit is normally closed means if you are not providing here power the circuit is on bulb is being glow if you provide power then the bulb will be off okay if you are connected to ano normally open circuit so initially circuit is open if you provide power to this coil then the circuit will be closed and bulb will glow so this is how the relay work we have to provide power to this bulb as well as this bulb or some other load that you are operating through this relay and one circuit is for this particular coil so let's see how we will do it so i am going to it is this circuit clean up this circuit and we will make this circuit from scratch
So So we have all the components, we have collected all the components. Now we should start to make the circuit. So first, let us connect this particular bulb to power supply. So it will not directly connect it to power supply. It will be connected through this relay. So while connected our load to relay, we must connect one terminal to the either NO or NC. So here terminal 6 is NO and terminal 7 is NC. So we want to use the normally open circuit, hence we will choose this one. So I am connecting this particular terminal 6 that is NO to one terminal of the bulb. So this first connection has been prepared. Now let's move to the second. So here another terminal of bulb should be connected to the ground of the power supply. So I am just connecting this particular terminal to the power supply ground. So here I have just connected this power supply negative or ground like this. Let's still the bulb load circuit is still open hence another terminal means the common terminal you can see here here this is the symbol of coil and this is the symbol of common and this is connected to this particular terminal this is terminal 7 here you can see this is common common so terminal 12 and terminal 12 common 1 and common 2 both are sorted you can see here these two terminals are connected through same lines so either we can connect to terminal 1 or terminal 2 that is common. At common we will connect the at common we will connect the positive of power supply. So I am just connecting it at terminal 12. So we have prepared the circuit for our load means positive is connected to common terminal and this common terminal is connected will be connected to uh, terminal 6 while we will power up this coil and this terminal 6 is again connected to bulb and ground or negative of power supply is again connected to another terminal of the bulb. So the, our load circuit has been prepared. Now, now connect the coil circuit. So for this I have taken 9 volt battery and through this 9 volt battery I will be powering up this coil. So let me show you how we will connect this 9 volt battery through this slide switch to the coil. Just, just connecting it to one terminal of the coil. So here you can see you can see this is the coil hence these two terminal terminal 5 and terminal 8 both are the terminal of this coil hence we will connect one terminal means i am connecting here terminal 5 to the positive of 9 volt battery and another terminal i will connect through the this slide switch so i am taking negative of the 9 volt battery and connecting it to the common common of this switch. So I am just connecting it at common of this particular slide switch like this. Again this particular slide switch has three terminal terminal 1, terminal 2 and terminal 3. So terminal 3 is common and terminal 1, terminal 2 are free. So either we can connect to terminal 1 or terminal 2. So we, while we are sliding it like in current position, uh, terminal 1 and terminal 
common both are uh, in switch mode in on switch mode and if we slide this switch to if we slide this particular switch to this side means at the at the right side then terminal 2 and this common will be in contact hence the circuit will be completed so i am just connecting this particular terminal 2 to the another term point of the another end of this uh, coil of the uh, relay so our circuit has been prepared let us let us uh, assign the color code to the wires so we generally prefer red color to the positive terminals positive wires so i am i am just here assigning red color to all the positive wires and black color to all the ground wires or negative terminal wires like this like this like this like this and like this now now let me show you its actual circuit diagram so you can click on this option schematic view so you will be directed to this schematic view of the circuit so here again you can see that one is the load circuit another is the coil circuit circuit for the coil, uh, operation of the coil of the relay so here clearly you can see that uh, coil is connected to battery 9 volt battery through this s1 switch and this particular load l1 is connected to relay uh, and power supply connected to actually l load is connected to power supply through the relay so this is the circuit which you, you can download or take a screenshot sort and you can use in your product so let me show you the simulation of this uh, circuit you have prepared so here i am starting the simulation simulation has been started now you you should set the voltage to 12 volt so i am just setting it to 12 volt 11 volt or 12 volt now now you must see that you must see the operation of the relay this is the this is the switch which is controlling the power to this particular coil and see when i switch on this circuit when i provide power to this relay then you must see the movement of this this portion this portion of the relay so let me show you when i am sliding this here so this moving part of the relay has been moved from this uh, nc portion to the no portion so again when i slide this so again this has been moved to here so like this uh, relay works and you can use in your project so see here ah this is a great thing in tinkercad that the bulb is the bulb is showing this like uh, a boom like uh, graphics this is showing that the uh, voltage is much greater than the uh, capacity of this bulb so let me just make it to 7 to 9 volt so it is just around 9 volt it is working fine so just start the simulation again and see the this switch is on hence the load is working when i switch this this uh, particular slide switch to off condition then our load is also in off condition so this is how you can use uh, the relay in your circuit so you can use any of the component in place of this bulb to control through the relay i hope you have get a lot of information about using this relay especially in tinkercad or you can use also actual relay in your project so i hope you you like the content if you like the content please share and subscribe our channel thank you so much we will meet in the next video